All right guys, so as we move away from our tools panel, I just wanna go into our paintbrush in a little bit more depth because this is one of the tools that you'll probably be using, especially in our next section where we start going into layers and layer masks. It's really important to kind of get a understanding of how our paintbrush works in more depth. All right, so we've obviously got our paintbrush selected here. And again, just to reiterate, you can right click on that, change our sizing and our hardness, and you can also hit Control and Alt and adjust the hardness and the size there as well. All right, I prefer to go into this way and just kind of adjust the hardness this way um, in the size by right clicking, all right? Now, obviously our colors, doesn't really matter what color we've got here. I'm just gonna keep the generic black and white. If you hit D, it'll return to the black and white so if you want to get that nice and easily just back to a black and white say if we've changed this to a that color I don't even know what that is and maybe to a bluey color all right if we want these just black and white we can hit the D key and it will return it back to the default again if we hit X it'll kind of cycle between those two colors of background and foreground color so in our option bar up here guys, obviously you've got this drop down. Now this here will bring up the same thing as if we're right clicking over in our canvas space. Um, we've also got our brush settings over here, which is popping this up here because I've got it selected up in my windows. So I've got my brush settings here. Um, we're gonna go into that in more depth in a minute or two. And then you've got blending modes next to it in the options bar here. We're going to go into this in the next section when we start looking at um, layers and blending or layers and layer masks. These blending options are really handy and just, just bear in mind that you can use them with your paintbrush as well. Your next up here is your opacity and flow and smoothing. Just for this video, we're only gonna be touching on opacity and flow. Opacity is obviously going to change the transparency of your brush. So if I come in here, I'm gonna increase my paintbrush size by hitting your square brackets. And obviously that's 100% there, right? Now I can obviously drop these down to 48, 50% and obviously it's going to kind of change the, the opacity of it there. I can also use our numbers along our keyboard. So if I hit one, it'll automatically give us a one, uh, 10%, 20% is two, three is 30, 40, 50, and 60, and so on. And you notice here that they're starting to overlap and you kind of get a little bit of transparency through and you can kind of see the paintbrushes underneath, right? So your opacity is a very, very handy way of just different layering things up. Now it works in much the same way as flow. All right, where they differ however, is flow will allow you to kind of layer things up and put more ink or saturate the ink onto your, your canvas the more you go. So if we put this up to 100, let's just put our flow down to maybe 20. And again, you can use our numbers um, to adjust the flow. So if I hold down shift and hit two, you should automatically jump down to 20%. Now, if I click and drag this over, as I go over that more and more, the more I go over one area, it'll build up to whatever we have that opacity set at. So you notice the little areas that I didn't go over quite so much um, have probably only had about 20% flow. And as I've gone into these more dark areas, they probably built up to 40, 60, 80, and fully to that 100% flow and 100% opacity. So basically it's going to control how much ink you put down on a page. Now I'm just gonna clear this out really quickly and just give you guys a bit of a rundown as to how this works. So if I go flow at um, 10% by holding down shift and hitting one. Now if I kind of come back and forward here, you'll notice here that it's starting to build up a little bit darker, right, where I put more pen pressure on, right? So obviously we've got 10% flow and it builds up here up to 100%. If I, however, change our opacity and I drop our opacity down to maybe 50 and I use combination um, of opacity and flow all at once, you notice here as I kind of build up, as I start to build it up here, all right, I'm only ever going to reach that full 50 or 51% opacity. So by using the two together, you can really start to create or manipulate your paintbrush um, really quite intensively. We were going over into our brushes and our brush settings, right? So we can also select our brushes here. Again, that's the same as right clicking um, on our canvas here, brings up the same thing or coming up in here into our options. But let's go into our, um, our brush settings in more depth. So this here, you can actually start to adjust each of your individual um, brushes. You'll notice this here, our little dial here, came up here when we kind of right click as well. That'll actually change the orientation and you've also got these pinch points. So instead of having maybe a perfect circular brush, I can now have a 
more of an oval or eclipse kind of um, shape and you can also start to kind of um, adjust these now these shape dynamics is pretty much what we've been looking at when we right click however as we start to come into scatter we can start to kind of scatter these around and you'll notice it'll start to scatter the paintbrush around and you can obviously change these and adjust the texture I don't use too much uh, dual brush you can as well color dynamics is a bit of a funky one as well um, you can actually start to blend between foreground and background so it'll have black and white in this case with the opacity down and the flow down you're probably not seeing as much let's go back into our history go back into this and go back into our brush settings and now you'll probably see where is our 59 control apply per tip all right and you can see there that it's starting to do a build up or a combination of both that foreground and, and um, background color all right again transfer um, we're not going to go into any of these too much but just bear in mind that they are there for you guys to play with all right so that you can create some really interesting shapes in with your brushes all right, which is really important kind of moving forward because it gives you a lot of flexibility flexibility to play around with them anyway guys that's going to wrap up this tutorial in the next one let's go over layers and layer masks because that's another really key component of photoshop